Physical performance is rarely measured among individuals with systemic lupus erythematosus, or SLE, but poor performance may be predictive of disability, loss of independence, and mortality. We sought to describe physical performance and its correlates in 446 individuals with validated SLE who were recruited from a population-based cohort study in metropolitan Atlanta, the Georgians organized against lupus or GOLD cohort. Our participants had a mean age of 46 years, 92% were female, and 83% were black. We measured physical functioning using the short physical performance battery, which consists of three tests. Balance, in which individuals are asked to stand in three increasingly challenging positions and hold for 10 seconds. Walking speed, in which individuals are asked to walk at their usual pace on a four meter course. And chair stands, in which individuals are asked to rise five times from a chair without using their arms. Each test score ranges from zero to four with higher scores representing better performance. The total score is the sum and 12 represents the maximum score. Scores were also categorized as high, 10 to 12, intermediate, seven to nine, and low at less than seven. As intermediate and low versus high scores have been associated with high risk of disability, mortality, and loss of independence among older adults. We found the overall mean score was nine out of 12 and we found that 40% had high physical performance, while 52% had intermediate performance and 8% had low performance. Exploration of the individual task scores showed that low scores were primarily driven by poor performance in lower extremity mobility, represented by the chair stand task. Finally, using multivariable logistic regression models, we found that both SLE and non-SLE specific factors were associated with poorer performance. Higher disease activity and burden, musculoskeletal involvement, and higher BMI were all independently and statistically significantly associated with intermediate or low versus high physical performance with odds ratios of 1.3 to 2.9. Whereas each standard deviation higher cognitive performance score was associated with 40% lower odds of intermediate or low versus high performance. Other factors such as lower educational attainment, non-working status, and higher depressive symptom scores were also associated with higher odds of poorer performance, but the associations were not statistically significant after full adjustment. Recognition of these factors could be used to identify individuals at, with SLE at high risk of poor, poor physical performance, as well as to intervene, maintain, and support physical performance, which could delay or prevent poor outcomes among these individuals.